art in any form can be a powerful tool that can help us work through heartache, grief, and trauma. It can calm the anxious mind, create mindfulness for the distracted, and spark joy when sadness creeps in. A few years ago, our family home, our family lost our home, including my studio space and all my artwork in a terrible fire. In my despair, my art became more than just a means of expression. It became a tool for healing. This being a periscope pitch, and most of you being artists, understand how powerful art can be. When we get into the creative flow, we lose all sense of time. We forget to eat, our mind quiets down, and the world falls away. Art has a powerful way of connecting us with our innermost thoughts. It allows us to find peace. I have personally experienced the healing power of art within my own life, and my hope is to share this with others. Greeting friends. My name is Alicia Garrett, but you can call me Dream. My husband nicknamed me Dream when we began dating in high school. It's not only my painting signature, but also a reminder for all who encounter my art to never stop dreaming. The Periscope Rad program came at just the perfect moment for me to implement what I was learning for the launch of my Wooly Creative Dreams collection. This collection is comprised of one-of-a-kind paintings you won't find anywhere else. These paintings of sheep and goats have real wool felted into the canvas, creating a tangible connection to the animals portrayed. I call it farm to canvas art. This fusion of fine arts and fiber arts came about when I lost some prized lambs on our farm. Once again, I turned to art to help me deal with my grief. I wanted to incorporate their wool so it would appear that their fibers were actually emerging from the painting itself. Accomplishing this not only brought me solace, but it also ignited a spark of excitement for my shepherding friends who specialize in fiber arts. By working my business plan, my website visits increased by 3,800%. I began posting to my social media platforms daily and the views began to skyrocket. After a couple of fiber festivals and art fairs, my art sales are the highest that they have ever been. The Periscope program also helped me solidify my long-term goals and plans. My journey has taught me that art can be a light guiding us through the darkest of times. By sharing my art, I share my joy, a joy that reverberates and multiplies through the lives it touches. As artists, we have the privilege and the responsibility to nurture this joy in our communities. In my own community, I'm fostering this joy through various avenues. I'm actively pursuing more ways to share my art through festivals, storied competitions, and galleries. I'm completing my certificate as an art therapist. I'm partnering with local businesses to teach therapeutic art classes. My daughter and I are working with our local library to create art programs for young adults and establishing an art lending library program that will promote local artists. Ultimately, it is my dream to establish a studio space and art gallery that would serve as the hub of creativity and healing within my community. Today, I ask each of you, whether an artist or an advocate of the arts, to play your part. Be the catalyst for joy. Ignite connections within your communities. Teach, mentor, and inspire. If you don't think you can find the time, let me remind you that time isn't found, it's made. Your community needs you to make that time and to share your creative gifts. I know you can make their dreams come true. I invite you to connect with me through social media or just pop by for a class. Together, we possess the power to help others realize their creative dreams, explore self-expression, and forge a lasting and healing impact within our communities. Thank you.